uh, you know, again, it's, when you're in mid-February, you've got to find a lot of different ways to win games. And I thought tonight, the second half, our defense um, grinded out some turnovers, got the ball on transition a little bit. We got the ball on top of the basket to Reggie, Walt a couple times, um, and found a way to win the basketball game. And that's what you have to do. You have to play. You know, each 40-minute game is going to be different this time of the year. The Bowling Green played pretty well offensively, especially in the first half. And in and, and the second half, we kind of responded defensively and, and started playing the way we're capable of. So did what we had to do tonight, and now we get ready to go play Wednesday. Greg, you talked about the way you guys adjusted defensively in the second half. You guys were able to convert, I guess, more of those turnovers in the second half and how important that was to, to get some space. Um, you know, we didn't do anything different uh, defensively besides, you know, pick up our effort and um, level of play. I uh, thought that we were lacking that in the first half and, you know, came out sleepwalking a little bit. But the second half, we turned it up a little bit and um, we got after it. Uh, start number two for you, TJ. Or Feeling more comfortable? You certainly came up with big points today. Uh, I'm feeling more comfortable with learning the uh, flow system at the floor and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm feeling more comfortable coming out the trade, uh, replacements, and all that stuff. So, I'm feeling good. Did, did you sense the, the team needed a little bit of the spark there early in the second half? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, effort, like Reggie said, was a big key at halftime. So, I just came out, tried to get more effort, and uh, look for guys and hit open shots. Uh, DJ, uh, talk about the late game stuff, uh, the technicals, the handshake line. You know, what is that a product of? What, is, what does that mean ultimately? Uh, it's just late in conference. You know, everybody want to win. You know, both teams, you know, going for the same thing, you know, seeding. And, you know, nobody likes to lose. And, you know, I feel like they, you know, got a little bit of, you know, chippiness at the end. And, you know, it, it happened. Uh, Reggie, uh, first half in the paint, they scored 20 points as opposed to your 10. And then had 11 points to your two off turnovers. Uh, what do you think, I guess, was the emphasis shift in the second half that kind of turned that around for you guys? Just uh, all around. It was all effort. First half, um, we didn't come out with too much energy, and um, you just got to pick it up the second half. Um, it was both offensively and defensively. It was all effort. So, You happy with the, with the rebounding today, Coach? Did you feel like you competed? Yeah, I thought when the game needed to be won, we competed. I mean, I didn't think in the beginning, uh, towards the end of the first half, I, I didn't think we competed very well. They got a couple of easy putbacks. But, you know, I thought tonight we went to the offensive board a little bit harder. We've done that in the last two games, got ourselves some extra possessions or a couple of key ones. You know, sometimes it's not necessarily numbers. It's, it's opportunistic and, and, and doing what you need to do. So I thought we did a much better job, at least on the offensive board. What was your impression? Both players, both benches, and then the yeah. posturing. Yeah, I mean, you never want to see anything like that happen. You know, you had two teams playing hard, and, you know, you have a tremendous amount of respect for Louie and his program. And, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes those things happen. They're usually small incidents and just probably people overreacting on both sides. Is it one of those things you could kind of sense coming along? No, I mean, that's, I mean, it happens, I mean, unfortunately. Uh, DJ, I guess. Jordan Crawford's setback jumper is something he was fairly successful with all game. How do you try to, I guess, balance staying on your toes defensively and kind of guarding against the drive as opposed to that quick step back jumper like he was really showing? Uh, I don't really recall him hitting a, you know, step back on me. But um, I mean, you know, he's just, you know, he's he's a quick little guy. You know, you just gotta, you know, when you're playing little players like that, you just gotta, you know, make them finish in the paint over you. You know, the, he want to shoot threes and. You know, you got to try to make them, you know, finish over, you know, our bigs like Red and John. How's Walt's eye? He's fine. Uh, I'm not sure if he needs stitches. They got a little Band-Aid on there or something. The, 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 eye, the eyebrow area? Yeah, right, right about the eyebrow. His, his career as a boxer is probably not going to be very long-lived. I mean, he was bleeding all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Uh, for any of the players that want to comment, what, uh, how, much do you, how much attention do you guys pay to, to the accurate score on game days, if at all? Uh, I mean, we, we pay attention to it, definitely, you know, just because, you know, it's a close race. And, you know, but we're, we're really not worried about it because we got them coming here in a couple of weeks. So, you know, we're going to handle our business and, you know, we'll be ready for the 27th. Okay, thanks, guys. Cool. Thank you.